Hi, this is Adam with PhotoNerdsUnite.com and today I'm going to show you the mystery and power behind the Alt or Option key. Whether you're a Mac or a PC user, there are very little differences between the operating systems. You might find a couple of menus here or there that are a little bit different, but for the most part, everything between a Mac and a PC is pretty much identical when you're working inside of Lightroom. One of the biggest key differences that might stick out to you more than others are the different keyboard shortcuts. And as an educator, this is probably one of the most difficult things to navigate because, well, let's face it, when we start talking about command C, option V, shift, option, command Z, it basically just sounds like we're talking algebra at that point. And if you're anything like me, it's been a long time since you've been in school and algebra just isn't our thing these days. So keyboard shortcuts can be a little bit confusing when you start to learn Lightroom or Photoshop. The fact of the matter is that keyboard shortcuts are going to speed up the process. And one particular keyboard shortcut is the Alt or Option key. Alt for PC users, Option for Mac users, but it's pretty much the exact same key. Now the Alt or Option key as it relates to Lightroom is a very powerful keyboard shortcut. In fact, Alt or Option most likely controls more than one thing inside of Lightroom. A sort of secret menu and hidden options within Lightroom that can only be accessed by holding down the Alt or Option key. For example, here inside the library module, if I hold the option or alt key down, you'll notice that in the bottom left hand corner are options for import and export. These menus actually change to import catalog or export catalog just by holding the alt or option key down. When I leave it alone, it goes back to just a standard import or export. But if we head on over to the develop module, this is where we'll see lots more options for the alt key. Starting in the bottom right hand corner, if we hold the option option or alt key, the reset button changes to a set default option, which gives you the ability to set all the defaults back to their original standard settings. Here in the basics panel, if I hold the alt or option key, what you'll notice is a couple of apparent changes. The tone feature will turn to reset tone or the presence will turn to reset presence just by holding the alt key down. Another key feature, if we hold the Alt key down, is what happens when we move the exposure adjustment. So as I'm holding the Alt or Option key down and I move exposure back and forth, I can actually see where the exposure is getting the greatest effect. Another key feature for this is if I hold the Alt or Option key and move my highlight slider back and forth, I can see the same thing. As well as if I move the shadows back and forth while holding the Alt or Option key, I can see what's happening here. In addition to the whites, I can see where my white points would be set as well as where the black points would be set, all just by holding the Alt or Option key down while I move this slider. When we head into the Tone Curves area, you'll notice that by holding the Alt or Option key down, Region chains to Reset Region, so you can reset these panels by holding the Alt or Option key down. Another example of this is in the Details panel, and this is one that I use quite often. In fact, as we hold the Alt or Option key down and move the Sharpening slider, you can see in a little bit more detailed area based on luminosity values, what sharpening is being applied. Same thing by holding the Alt or Option key and moving the radius, it gives us a different view, as well as holding the Alt or Option for the details panel gives us a different view. But my favorite trick is holding the Alt or Option key and moving the masking slider back and forth. This actually prepares a more easy way to see exactly where the sharpening is being applied. For example, anything that's white will be applied applied, sharpened, but anything that turns black, you will not see any sharpening. This is in fact a very basic white black mask. If you know anything about masking inside of Photoshop, this is the same exact concept. But if you don't know anything about masking, all you need to know is that the white areas are going to get sharpened by whatever amount you determine up here in the amount slider. But holding the Alt or Option key allows you to see exactly where the sharpening is going to be applied. Probably my favorite feature inside of Lightroom as it relates to editing. And the last in this host of examples is holding the Alt or Option key down when you're applying your dehaze slider. And again, this just looks exactly the way the exposure, whites, blacks, highlights, and shadows would look when applying. It's just giving you a different view so you can see what's being affected the most. 
but most importantly, by holding the Alter Option key, you see that we get a lot of reset options. Reset dehaze, reset gain, reset the, the post crop vignetting. At the end of the day, holding the Alter Option key down brings up a lot of hidden menu options that you might not find any other way. So if you're ever wondering what something may or may not be doing, try holding the Alter Option key down. You may be surprised as to what other options you may have at your disposal. It's really easy to do and it takes no time at all. That's it for today's tip. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for your support. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.